So in this video I'm going to cover what you need in your toolkit to get a shaving sharp edge on a knife. Now this could cover folding knives. Here we have a lovely Buck 110. It's one of my first knives I got when I started collecting if you want to say that. Small fixed blades. This is the Mini Pendleton by Cold Steel. Large fixed blades. This is a Diving Sparrow Knife Works Custom. It's a beautiful knife. Okay, so we're gonna cover uh, those options. We're not really gonna get into convex blades because I'm gonna soon do a video just on convex blades by themselves because they kind of stand alone with regards to sharpening and such. So ultimately, your sharpening kit can consist of one bastard file. If you wanna get a nice keen edge on a knife, this We'll give you one. This will give you a working edge, no problem. Free of chips, dents. You can get a half decent edge on a knife with a good file like this. But we're but what we're going to be talking about today is uh, how to get an edge far beyond that. So of all the different aspects we can consider when sharpening, in my opinion, it all comes down to one simple concept. We are trying to get from a rough edge. Over to a smooth edge or a smooth bevel and we do need a series of tools to get between these two points now a rough edge could mean something like a, an edge with dents and chips or just a dull jagged edge okay a rough edge what is what we would consider a blunt edge so when you're starting at this point, you need to create an edge. And in that case, a file, as we mentioned a few minutes ago, works great. Now a file is still pretty far down on this spectrum, okay? A file might be from, from blunt, a file might be somewhere like here. But it does have its place because uh, a, a higher grit tool is going to take a long time to move from rough to smooth. So I would start off by adding a file to my kit. Very important in my opinion. Now from a file, which is going to leave some pretty coarse marks, okay, you're going to want to move up another step on the grit line. Now something I have in my system, I have a cheap stone here. This is a um, a stone I bought at a just a hardware store. I think I paid four dollars for it. One side it just says coarse, and the other side is fine. But both of them I would consider very coarse, probably somewhere around the two to three hundred grit range. Here is uh, a vintage carborundum stone I have that I use. Cuts very well. The coarse side is uh, also probably around a two hundred to three hundred range. So for establishing your edge, the next step I would use is, I'll say, 200 to 300 grit stone. Now remember, you don't need all these pieces in your kit. I'm just trying to help you establish the best kit that, uh, from my opinion of course, the best kit possible. From this stage, from a 200 to 300 grit stone, I think you can move into a 1000. It's feasible in this case to get into a 1000 grit stone because a good 1000 will cut fairly quickly and it'll remove those uh, the grits from this stone pretty fast. Here's a 1000 grit stone. Okay, it cuts material pretty quickly. From a 1000, I could have probably put the 1000 even a little further along this gradient. So 1000 is a pretty smooth edge, pretty keen, okay? And you notice we're getting closer to this perfect, razor sharp, smooth edge. After the 1000 grit, um, the next step for me is a 6,000, so I have a combo stone here. 
Um, you can go 4,000, and I know Ray Bartlett has a 1,000, 4,000. It makes a great setup. Um, but in this case, I would recommend the Woodstock Stone. It's the one I use. I think it's phenomenal. So then you're going to want something higher. Probably, I should put this as a range 800 to 1,000 grit. And then the next step here, I would go say anywhere from 3,000 to 6,000 grit. Okay? Finally, now this edge is going to be super smooth right off this stone. That last little bit to take it over the top now is a strap. So that is your tool kit. Now a strap could be, I have two types of straps. I have a compounded paddle strap that uh, I coat in a small micron paste. That's going to cut a little faster than my other paddle strap which is just a smooth finished leather. This would be even finer in my opinion than the paddle strap. So there you have it. This is how to make up a perfect conclusive tool kit in my opinion. These are your stages. These are my recommendations for uh, if you have these pieces you can move very fast, very efficiently, right from uh, a beat up edge with dents and chips like I mentioned, where you can establish your edge with a file, move through these stages very quickly and have a shaving sharp edge. Hope you enjoyed this video guys. Uh, please like the video, comment down below if you have any questions. I'd, uh, I'd love to clear some things up for you. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let me know how you like this format. We'll see you in the next video.